Yeah, down slam, and then up. There, that's it. Speed, man. Good. When you slam, don't lean too far forward. Dip. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, good work. Ice, uh, med ball ice skaters. Drive it across, use your hips, use your hips. Don't drag that other leg. We're shuffling. One, two, and then through. Power. <laughs> You're not your back. Okay. So it's not a crossing of the feet. We keep it more like a boxing stance. Challenge with this is when we actually throw, it's that we're going there, we're not leaning forward. We're sitting back, we're sitting back, throwing, but then keeping that shape, not leaning over. We're getting that full rotation, using the momentum to drive through. Good. One, two, then throw. One, two. That's one, two, three. Or one, two, they were about half you. One, two, and then you hesitate. One, two, bang. Explode. Oh, did you catch that? Yeah. Oh, good power that. Good, last one. Oof. Safe hands. I'm not looking forward to going up to five kilo on that. Oh, down, slap. Yeah, good. Best one. Three more like that. Nice, good. Good, pull it into your hips. Drive it across, drive it across, good. A little bit quicker transition on them ice skaters now. Don't hold it for too long. Land and then go. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the technique now. If I almost set back, it takes a little bit of the sting away. Oh, Shemichael. So now this is increasing that eccentric demand. So we're obviously falling, creating some more momentum. So you just need to be a little bit quicker at that transition. Yeah, good. Be a little bit harder to get out of that bottom bit now. So you just have to have that conscious effort. As soon as you slam down, drive it up, rapid force. Yes, good. Good. Be a little bit more subtle with those feet. Softer feet. Good. Deep breath in. Good. Create that tension. Point your toes out. Dip to the box, then drive it up. Drive it up. Speed. Faster. Come on. Go. One more. Yeah, good work, well done. Walk it in. Good, got faster then. Yes. Yes, getting faster, let's go. Yeah. Go. Yeah, good. Yeah. Drive it. Yeah, good. Good stuff. Yeah, getting better. So just looking at uh, your results here from the first set, you see like that this is the acceleration through. So how quickly you hit that peak velocity. So you can see there's a bit of interference here because the first one wasn't as fast, but it was more consistent. On the others, you like when you're getting down to the bottom, you kind of like smashing against the box and you, you, you rebound in, lose that kind of momentum, and then you have to push on again. What I want to see is that constant acceleration. So quick touch to the box, but what I want you to do from there is power up as fast as you can and try and be as consistent as you can, because that is what a, what a punch looks like, it's what a jump looks like, how quickly can you accelerate. So on this next set, I want it to be more consistent as we go through. So all you need to do, 
a little bit slower going down to the box. Quick tap and then drive it up straight away. Yep, let's go. Tap and go. Drive. Speed. Six. Go. Six, two. Better. Go. Drive. Yes. Well done. Walk it in. Five, five. Still a little bit of a dip. But it looks more consistent. Like the other ones look very different to each other. So you just need to accelerate out of that bottom as fast as you can. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Three, five, nine. Let's go, come on. Yes, 47, six. Tap and go. Accelerate, drive, up. Oh. Yes, six, three, go. Six, four, drive up, accelerate. Yeah, good work, walk it in, six, four. 46, five, hold on. Yeah. Yes. 46, seven. Tap the box, then drive, let's go. Go, up, oh. speed, six one, up, oh. yes, six five, go, drive, yes, well done, six one. Three five eight, hold on. Let's go. Yes. Three four six. It's called post activation potentiation. So there's a massive range of different studies on this. It's all based on the individual, based on the exercise, based on the exercise preceding that. So what we found with you today is that after one minute, you potentiated. Your average was higher and also your peak, your peak jump was higher as well, okay? But when we change the different settings, three minutes, 30, two minutes, 30 seconds, you know, we saw that there was a bit of variability in there. So really, on that exercise, going forward into this program, we'll just have a one minute break in between because we, we know that this has helped improve performance. Whereas here, maybe three minutes, 30, two minutes, maybe the potentiation has gone down too much. You were rested, but that potentiating factor wasn't there. And then after 30 seconds, might be a little bit fatigued. So go and lock some three bears. We'll go for one in the middle. Go for one minute where you're going to be potentiated. One, seven, one. Good. One, seven, six. A little bit faster split. Other side. Good work. Well done. One, seven, nine. Good. Core nice and tight. One, seven, zero. Dip onto your heels. Good. One, seven, three. A lot of people when I see them do landmine split jerks is that they're unable to sit back onto the heels and use the hips effectively to drive up into that triple extension. A lot I'll do will bend and go onto the toes, balls of feet and have the heels up, okay. putting a lot of stress around that ankle joint, and not powering up the hips. There, when you're keeping your heels down, dipping down, driving through, using your hips really effectively. Yeah, good. Brilliant. Good, other side. Does that mean velocity, yeah? Brilliant, good. Yes. Good. Make sure it's stable. Yeah, good. Brilliant. Yeah. Yes. 0.95, good. 103, good. good. Other side. Yeah, good, keep that core tight. That's better, well done. Good. Two more. Keep your summit tense, drive it up. Good work, well done. Drive it up. Good. Nice. Good. Really drive through that left heel. Nice. Keep your belly button tucked in. Core tight. Good. Core tight. Core's got to be tighter than that. Good. Don't try and force that extension if it's not there. I'd rather you go just shy of it, but get more from your core, more from your glutes. There. That's it. Keep your head forward a little bit more. 
That's it, that's better. When you're popping your head back, you're almost like wanting to start extending with that spine. Okay. When you're going into that full extension, when you're struggling with it, you'll start wanting to use that back. Uh -huh. Took the band off now, so you should be able to get a little bit more extension. But like I said, when we're tapping your stomach, you want that belly button tucked in, you want that core to be nice and tight. Uh -huh. You're not wanting to let, get that hip extension, leave your hips behind and start using your back, okay? So chin down, stomach tucked in, but then try and get as much hip extension as you can. Try and keep your eyes like kind of on that little dint in the top of the ceiling. That's it. Nice. Good. Better spine alignment there. Better core tension. Well done. Drive it up. Well done. You're keeping your head in a brilliant position there, Lerone. Chin tucked down, rib cage down. Good, good. Keep it tense, yeah. So when you go down, you want to keep your stomach tense as well. You don't want to unlock your spine. Keep your spine rigid all the way through the movement. Good, drive it up. Squeeze glute, good. Nice work. Core tight, good. Keep it locked down. Yeah, good, well done. Try and keep them hips facing forward. Just rotation just from your core. So don't go all the way down to here. Yeah. So then that's when you get and get that rotation through the lower body. Just about there. And then drive up. Okay. Yeah, good. Bend your knees. Good. So a little bit of rotation in them hips. No rotation in those hips, Lauren. Keep your hips facing forward. Twisting that upper body. Then you've got where you're getting that hip rotation involved as well. What you're doing, you're halfway between the two. You're coming here and you're getting that hip rotation as well, okay? But you're not, it's still a bit no man's land. You're not getting the full benefits of the first one, you're not getting the full benefits of the second one. So what you need to do, keep them hips facing forward, really push into the floor, keep them knees fixed in position. Control it on the way down. Drive it up, but keeping the lower body nice and stable. Hips facing forward. <clears throat> yeah, there. Good. Just there and up. Just there, then up. Good. You should feel it more in your obliques now. Yeah? That's better, well done. A little bit of quicker loop. Good. Pivoting your hips now, pivoting one hip, but then one hip stays stable. Good. Both feet stay planted to the floor until that final bit. Yeah. So you press out, try and stay as stable as you can. Shoulders back and down, core tight. Let's go. Press out. Yeah, nice. Good work. Good. Don't go as far, but keep that pressure. There, that's it. So if you go too far, lengthen, your back will start coming off the floor. Hips up a little bit, there, keep your core tight. Drag that across the floor. Good. Solid. You're not allowed to uh, yeah. finish until I finish this outro. Yeah, Is that right? <laughs> okay. Thanks very much, guys. Oh, I'll just hold on. Didn't get that right. Still not allowed to stop, okay? Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed that workout. Lerone's been working on some strength and speed and power. You're feeling good, aren't you, Lerone? Really good. Yeah, it's just finished on some core holds now. It's not allowed to finish until this out. Oh, just hold on. Just start that again, Jamie. Hold on. All right, and time. <laughs> <laughs>